the last word ever since. I'm sure all the married men in this room will agree. It's the secret to a long and happy marriage. Sorry for keeping you all out in the cold there. I guess the hashtag should have been hide your goosebumps instead. Anyways, I just thought I would uh, help us say a few words here before I uh, spend the rest of my life listening. <laughs> came up here, I was told to keep this speech short and keep it clean. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to do either of those. <laughs> uh, I kind of tried to make this speech like a mini skirt, you know? Short enough to hold your attention, but long enough to cover the essentials. <laughs> Pretty serious guy. Uh, I don't like to joke around much, and uh, not sarcastic one bit. So uh, this speech should reflect that. Now I'm going to be proposing a couple of toasts over the next few minutes. So I hope you all have a full glass. Table five. It's a marathon, not a sprint. So small steps are acceptable. Okay? <laughs> anyway, on behalf of my wife and I. I'd like to thank you all for coming. It really wouldn't be the same without you all here. Actually, it would be considerably cheaper. <laughs> now, many of you have traveled great distances to be here, all the way from places like California. Thank you, Ryan. Woo! British Columbia. Appreciate it, Jamie and Carly. And uh, Mark and Shaq, you made it all the way from Oxbridge. <laughs> it's amazing what people do for a free meal. <laughs> Unfortunately, it is not possible for everyone to be here with us tonight, but for the people looking down on us, I would like to do a toast to absent family and friends, especially to Jess's father, as I am sure he is so proud of the beautiful woman you've become and to all of your accomplishments. So everyone raise a glass with me as we do a toast to those who are lost but not forgotten. Now, we have been playing this wedding for a long time now, and I mean, we've enjoyed it too. It's uh, really not as stressful as people say. I mean, Jess organized the venue, the menu, the photographer, and I started thinking about this speech. <laughs> <laughs> then she did the cupcakes, the dress fittings, the day out coordinator, and I started writing this speech. <laughs> then she decorated the tables, got her hair, makeup, nails done, and I uh, polished off my speech. <laughs> So, uh, you know, it, it, it's all about teamwork here. I mean, uh, <laughs> to be fair to myself, though, I'm pretty sure she had started planning before I even have asked her to marry me. Because when I got down on one knee, she hesitated for a moment. I was kind of worried that she was unsure, but now I realize that she was just uh, counting how many chairs were going to be each table here tonight. So I think uh, Jess deserves a huge applause for all of her hard work. Jess, you were looking absolutely gorgeous tonight. Would you uh, stand up for a minute? Okay, maybe not a minute. They're all going to realize you're out of my league. <laughs> Jess, I've never met such a beautiful, loving, caring, trustworthy, and talented woman before. I mean, you do absolutely everything for me. Believe it or not, she actually wrote this entire speech. <laughs> Another great quality of hers is that she is an exceptional judge of character. <laughs> hey, you didn't have to throw that one in there. <laughs> she also has a great sense of humor, which, quite frankly, she's going to need to put up with me for the rest of her life. You know, Jess actually once told me that she was never attracted to another man. And I said, well, I was never attracted to one either. <laughs> Now, last night, you just packed your bags and left me. Not the ideal way to start a marriage. It is a great thing that she is pretty much a professional chef, as I made dinner last night and severely burned it. Not quite sure what I did wrong, but I mean, it still turned out to be a decent salad. 
<laughs> Anyways, I have had the best eight years of my life with you, and I am honored to be able to go through life's adventures and to get to grow old with you. Needless to say, you are my soulmate and have helped me become a better person, and definitely a more responsible one. <laughs> now, I'm not done with you. But. Mom and Dad, I would like to thank you for producing such an incredible son. <laughs> We all know that I was the number one son in our family. I mean, sure, I won that by default, but hey, a win's a win, I'll take it. I'm not sure which one of you dropped me on my head as a baby, but clearly I haven't recovered from my injuries. But here I am on my wedding day. Couldn't even memorize a 10 minute speech. All jokes aside, though, you guys have taught me so much despite my greatest efforts not to learn. <laughs> I really appreciate all the sacrifices and dedication to get me to this point in my life, and only now do I realize that you two have been severely underpaid over the years. <laughs> <laughs> all the 6 a.m. hockey practices, 9 p.m. lacrosse games, and full-day soccer tournaments, well, I mean, you guys just didn't know how to say no. <laughs> but you did do your absolute best to keep me out of trouble. Which kind of fails, but hey, I, I, wouldn't have met, I wouldn't have met Jess if I didn't stay out of trouble. <laughs> and now that I'm married, you both can rest easy knowing that I am in Jess's fully capable hands. And I will do my absolute best to make sure she looks after me properly. <laughs> seriously, seriously though, you guys have been monumental in all my success, and you will become great grandparents one day, and hopefully great grandparents. <laughs> I would also like to thank Jess's mom, Mary. Now, we all know how much Mary likes his son. I mean, just look at that tan. <laughs> Let's just hope she likes her son-in-law half as much, because <laughs> you're stuck with me now, Mary. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Nonetheless, it certainly didn't take me long to realize that this was the family that I wanted to be a part of. And you are giving me your daughter tonight, which is the best gift I could ever ask for. And I promise that I will wait till later to unwrap it. <laughs> Sorry, I that will protect me very, very well. When I met Jessica, I immediately noticed how kind and genuine she is. And when I met her parents and grandparents, I knew exactly where she got it from. I would like you to think of it as, you're not losing a daughter tonight, but instead, gaining an extra seat at your dinner table. <laughs> so a quick toast to her parents, and the fact that I'm getting a little thirsty. <laughs> I would also like to thank our maid of honor, Andrea, basically for convincing Jessica that this was a good idea. <laughs> We both appreciate all the help you have done planning this wedding, and I guess we will have to repay you as it's your turn next August. I would have never met Jess if you didn't introduce us in the first place, so I thank you for that, and for keeping me in line throughout my college years. Well, you, you tried your best. But Andrea, I love you like a sister, and that's, you're even a Habs fan, and that's saying a lot. <laughs> <laughs> to the beautiful bridesmaids, you ladies look one in a million. And to the groomsmen, you guys look like you're one in a contest. <laughs> For those of you wondering why I didn't appoint a best man, well, I simply just couldn't find one. So I had to settle on any more hooligans instead. <laughs> if anyone wants boys that are organized, on time, and calm on a Saturday night, <laughs> these ain't the ones for you. <laughs> I'm not sure how we're all still alive after all the adventures over the years, but in celebration of that milestone, I would like to share a few stories of our younger years. But uh, not today. Unfortunately, I was told to keep it short and sweet. <laughs> and clean. <laughs> Seriously though, you guys have been a big part of my life, and I know you would all do anything for me. At least as long as beer or hockey was involved. <laughs> I feel that beer may actually be starting to affect your memories though, because sometimes these guys will tell me stories about other people and forget that that story actually happened to them. <laughs> so I just want everyone here to keep that in mind if they decide to come up and make a speech later. <laughs> Next, just a quick thanks to the winery for hosting our special day. 
and to visa for making it possible. <laughs> you will be forever and nephew. <laughs> now, I stand in front of you all today, a different man than I was yesterday, a married man. After all, though, not much has really changed. I mean, I can still make my own decisions, spend money on what I want, go to bar, go to the bar on a Tuesday night. Isn't that right, babe? <laughs> You hope there are some changes to happen. <laughs> Anyways, now moving on to my ex-girlfriend, <laughs> who's now my wife. Gotcha. <laughs> to the world, you are only one person, but to this one person, you are the world. We have been through so many ups and downs together, but through all of them, our bond has only gotten stronger. Before we were married, I was incomplete. Now for certain, I can say I'm finished. <laughs> Thank you for keeping me grounded and always being honest with me. If it wasn't for you, I'd probably go through life thinking I have no flaws at all. <laughs> when you are happy, it makes me happy. When you are sad, it makes me sad. And when you are angry, I'm terrified. <laughs> I look forward to spending the rest of my life trying to figure you out. In all seriousness, you have done such a great job playing this whole event. I am so excited to see what you have planned for the rest of our lives. I am truly blessed to be able to call you my wife, and I will do my absolute best to give you the life you've always dreamed of. I'm now going to hand it over to Jess so that she can have the last word. As Steve pointed out, that's how we're going to operate from now on. <laughs>